in compliance with the directive, the Ministry of Education has today met with all stakeholders behind me here to deliberate on the current preparedness of full resumption of learning for all learners uh, in the basic education sector institutions by the 4th of January 2021. Today's meeting, ladies and gentlemen, reached consensus on the following key milestones and dates. One, all schools will reopen fully on the 4th of January 2021. This will apply to PP1 and 2, grade 1, 2 and 3, class 5, 6 and 7, and from one, two, and three learners. Two, all four-year-olds will join PP1 in July 2021. Number three, pre-primary one and two, grade one, two, and three, class five, six, and seven, and from one, two, and three learners will start their second term on the 4th of January, 2021, and end on the 19th of March, 2021, together with grade four candidates. And together with grade four and the, the, the examination classes, which are basically class eight and form four. Number four, all learners except class eight and form four candidates will proceed for a seven week holiday to allow for KCPE and KCSE examination administration and marking. Number five, grade four and incoming from one class eight graduates learners will stay at home as other learners complete their third term. Number six, grade four CBC learners will transition to grade five in July 2021. Number seven, international schools will reopen from the 4th of January 2021 for all their learners still at home. All other details regarding specific dates for school, for school terms for the basic education learning institutions, including the KCP and KCSC examination timetables, will be provided to you and are appended to this press statement. I wish to assure the country that the government is determined to ensure a safe reopening and learning of our schools. In doing so, we are drawing important lessons from the partial reopening that has taken place since October. We are confident that we will remain on the right trajectory to finding the winning formula that will ensure our learning institutions are safe for our learners and teachers. The ministry appreciates the support of parents, counties, and all other stakeholders and the development partners in ensuring that schools comply with all the Ministry of Health COVID-19 safety measures. And I, I want to add that it is at this point that I would want to further appeal to any other benefactors that as we prepare the schools for reopening, the most important constant is going to be the mask. We already have some masks in stock to cater for some poor, but we don't mind getting any extra. Like I said, uh, we have attached all the timetables. The examination timetables are here. You, I think you will provide it for them, huh? The primary school timetable is there. And it will be pro provided to you. That's primary. That is the secondary one. And uh, what will be provided to you again are the actual data regarding all that I have said and details of the, the dates and everything else.
I want to thank you very much for your, for, for your continued cooperation and to remind you that you have a very important role to play as we move into the unknown future where we have to learn and continue to live with COVID. Thank you very much.